Good day, Grade 12. My name is Kadir Mazokere. I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks, and welcome to one of my uh, lessons. Now, in these lessons, I'm going to talk about some rules. Oh, before I proceed with the lesson, uh, I mentioned that I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks. So this year is Economic Grade 12, and this is 11, this is Grade 10, this is Business Studies Grade 12, this is Grade 11. Uh, the grade 10 business studies book is long overdue and I'm working on it and I have uh, other material that I put online for free uh, this is one of them you can just download this I'm not even the one who uploaded it I don't know who did but somewhere if I, if you google that you'll find it uh, I'll try to upload some of my material that I know that this can be helpful like one of my favorite is one called the mini workbook and um, yeah i'm going to make a plan i can't say uh, i'll put the link to where you can get it in the description i cannot do that because uh i haven't really uploaded that so i'm going to do it in the future now in this lesson i'm going to mainly focus on some of the rules that are very very important when it comes to graphs uh, in this case, I'm talking about microeconomics, and these rules will apply whether it's uh, my, whether it's perfect, uh, monopoly, oligopoly, or monopolistic. So the first rule I'm going to talk about is uh, the rule of profit maximization. Now, the first thing uh, we need to know when we start constructing these graphs is that uh, we 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 don't just draw a graph haphazardly personally if i ask a letter to go at the board to draw a graph i expect to see certain steps like yeah you have to start here because how did you get to that it has to be more like a story that you are telling but uh i think i don't know how they just get it from the book and then they just try to memorize drawing a graph but it has to be a story like it makes sense to start with the axis, then you draw a demand curve, if it's perfect, uh, a horizontal one, then from there you draw the marginal cost curve, because that is what will tell you what the quantity should be. And once you have the quantity, then you, well, depending on what you have been instructed to do, if you have been instructed to draw normal profit, then now you draw an AC which is in line with your, what, with your demand curve. If you are asked to draw normal profit, uh, economic profit, then you draw your AC below. If you want economic loss, you draw your AC above. So basically, uh, I have videos, uh, actually a playlist where you go and watch all the graphs. But in this particular video, I want to address uh, some rules that have to be followed. Now, the first rule that I'm, uh, like I said, is on profit maximization. Now, this rule states that in order for a firm to maximize its profits, it has to produce at a point where marginal cost intersects marginal revenue or when marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. That is where the, the, the rule, what, that is what the rule says and that is where profit is maximized. Now, I always say uh, when, like in terms of you writing some notes, here's what you could write. MC and MR are used to determine profit maximization. And profit is maximized at a point where MC is equal to MR, or at a point where MC intersects MR. The next rule I'm going to talk about is, uh, well, this one is not really a rule, but this is something that you need to uh, uh, follow, or, or that you need to master in order for you to, um, to, to get the, the profits right. Right, the, the, the thing is, I want you to write the following. AC and AR are used to determine uh, the type of profit made by a firm. AC and AR are used to determine the type of profit made by a firm. Uh, or to rephrase, AC and AR are used to determine whether a firm makes a normal profit, economic profit, or economic loss now let's start with economic profit now economic profit right uh, economic profit then you put a semicolon 
because here you are writing some notes, right? Economic profit, semicolon, AR greater than AC. Then the next one, economic loss, semicolon, AR less than AC. And then the last one, normal profit, semicolon, AR equal to AC. Well, that's it. It can never be. So, uh, you usually I'll be, as I'm teaching, well, I, I cannot really do it right now because I won't be getting responses from you and so on and so on. But usually what I'll do is that I would ask, as, as we are constructing our graphs, there's a part, I will have said a lot of things, and then I'll, my graph is half drawn, and there's no AC there. And the things I will have said, uh, it kind of confuses people to make them think that they can answer the question that I'll be asking. And the question will be, uh, on an incomplete graph, is this firm making a profit or loss? Trust me, I always get responses from learners saying, it is a, some saying it's a profit, it's a loss. But they've written the things that I just gave you there in their books. And then when you go back to ask, uh, is this firm on this graph? And by the way, the graph is incomplete. Is this firm making a profit or loss? You get responses. Most of the times it's from everyone. Everyone responds. But everyone has written uh, that particular uh, what statement, no, not a statement, but the whole f the whole stuff that says a normal profit AR greater than AC. Uh, I don't know if I said it right. Normal profit AR equal to AC. Economic profit AR greater than AC. Uh, economic loss AR less than AC. You 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 you'll be surprised to see them responding. But the graph won't be having an AC curve yet. But they will respond. They see it, or the graph will be having a marginal cost curve, and somehow it confuses them. It probably I don't know what happens, but uh, basically it's because my question will be a bit tricky uh, to 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 have them respond in a wrong way. Uh, so uh, make sure when you you listen to what you are being asked. If the question is identify the profit maximizing point look for mc look for mr if the question is what type of profit is made by this firm then the answer you what comes to your mind should be is where is my ar where is my ac which one is greater than the other what is the value at the profit maximizing output what is the value of my average revenue what is the value of my average of my average cost then if you see that your average revenue is more than your average cost, then it's a profit. If you see that your cost is higher than your revenue, then it's a loss. If you see that they are equal, then it's a normal profit. It's as easy as that. So uh, are we asking profit maximization? If we are, MC, MR. Are we asking loss or profit? If we are, then ARAC. Right. Moving on to the next rule. The next rule is very important. And it's, um, it's about uh, shutting down, whether or not a firm should shut down. And the rule states that a firm should consider shutting down if its price or average revenue, well, if I say it like that, I'm saying the same thing. Price, average revenue, total revenue, uh, but now price with AVC, average revenue with AVC, total revenue with total variable cost, TVC. So uh, you must just not get confused. And I can also include a marginal cost curve there when we are talking about this rule. And I'll say them all at the same time. So the rule states that a firm should consider shutting down if its average revenue or price, you know the two are equal, if its average revenue or price is less, did I say shut down? Let me say it again because now I forgot whether I said shut down or continue. The firm should consider shutting down if its price or average revenue is less or equal to its average variable cost. I'll say it again. The firm should consider shutting down if its price or average revenue is less or equal to its average variable cost. So that's what the rule says. So if you see that uh, your price is less than AVC, then that particular firm should shut down. And if the price is above, 
AVC, even if the firm is making an economic loss, that firm should continue because that firm can cover its variable costs. And when I'm talking about t total revenue, then I would say it this way. A firm should consider shutting down if its total revenue is less or equal to its total variable cost. That's what the rule says. So now this can present you with um, pick. Let me, let me make some numbers up. Let us assume that a firm is making um, 10, 100 units of whatever. And then this firm is, uh, it, the average revenue, uh, the average revenue or the price, let's say it's 10. Okay, and then its uh, average cost is say 20. So that means the firm is making an economic loss of 10 units, 10 rands per unit. So if it's making 100 units, then it's 10 times 100, which is 1,000. So this firm is making a loss of 1,000. And let's assume that it's making a loss of 1,000 rands per minute. So then say 1,000 rand per, no, let's say per second. That means this firm is making an economic loss of what? 60,000 rands per minute. So if a firm makes an, a, a loss of uh, 60,000 per minute, uh, how much loss is it making, economic loss is it making per, per day, per hour? So you multiply that by 60, and then per day you multiply, keep multiplying. So if you say uh, 60,000 times uh, 60, uh, do the maths, you'll see it's a big figure there. And once you get that figure, multiply that, say, by eight hours. After multiplying by eight hours, let's say now it shows you the economic loss that the firm is making per day. So I think you can see it's a huge amount. Now, you make, uh, you, you tell me what you think. Okay, maybe in the comment section, I will, if you don't, just in your head, because you want to understand what I'm saying, uh, respond, please. To yourself even though you don't have to tell me now do you think this firm can survive do you think this firm should shut down do you think this firm should continue well you can pause the video and think hard now if you think that the firm should continue then you are wrong so does it mean the firm should shut down so should the firm shut down the answer still if you think yes the firm should shut down you are also wrong because all the information I gave you is not enough for you to uh, tell whether the firm should shut down or not because if you answer based on the loss that they are making then you are not applying the profit maximizing rule no no not the profit the the, the shutdown point rule the shutdown rule actually you are not applying it if you want to apply the shutdown rule, you look at average variable cost. And from what I gave you, the information I gave you, there is no average variable cost anyway. Uh, if it's a graph, it doesn't show it at all. So if it doesn't show it, then... <coughs> Sorry, I have flu. If it doesn't show it, then we have a problem. Where is it? Uh, you cannot answer. Where are you getting the response from? So moving on to, 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 to then what the answer is, the answer is we don't know whether this firm should shut down or not because we don't know where the average variable cost curve is in this particular scenario. Because all I gave you is AC, I told you it's above, it's a 20, AR, it's a 10, quantity 100, and then I didn't say anything about average variable cost. Now, if average variable cost is at 12 then this firm should shut down because the price is 10 so in this case the price is less than the average variable cost because the average variable cost is 12 but the price is 10 so this firm should shut down now what if the average variable cost was 8 then if the average variable cost is 8 then this business price is greater than its average variable cost that means this firm can survive because according to the rule, the price is greater than the average variable cost. So this firm should, con should not even shut down, even though it's making an economic uh, loss. And um, 
basically uh these are the three things that i had to talk about just a quick recap number one profit maximization marginal cost marginal revenue mcmr uh the, then profit is maximized at a point where they intersect point number two that i was making is a firm making a profit or loss and if so what kind of a profit is it because we have normal we have economic well to answer that question we can say uh, let's compare AR and AC. Is AR greater than AC? If it is, then the firm is making an economic profit. Is AR equal to AC? If it is, then it's a normal profit. Is AR less than AC? Then it's an economic loss. Done. The last part, shutting down or continuing. Uh, the rule says, Consider shutting down if your AR or price is less or equal to your average variable cost. Well, it's a mouthful, but it helps. Uh, I, I, I saw that I had to make this video. I'm making this video as I'm busy working on my graphs. So I realized that maybe I need a video where I'm explaining this so that I don't take too long explaining it when I'm doing the graphs. Well, if it's not clear, put your questions in the comment section. And as usual, don't forget, these books will definitely help you. And I, I worked so hard. And other material that I give out for free, like this one, uh, it's, it's for free. Honestly, if you can, what, maybe send uh, a message, 0738 I can send you a PDF for this not just this also the mini workbook and uh the other one is for essays thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to the channel god bless